Well, the MP for Richmond Park, Zach Goldsmith, joins us now. Uh, Zach Goldsmith, thank you very much for, for coming in. Uh, could we deal with these specific uh, issues and yeah. start perhaps with the, with the signs? I'm, I'm, I'd be, I'm going to go through all the details as, as much as time allows. But before we do that, I want to set one thing straight. Mm -hmm. and I think this is very important. At the end of your report last night, you stood and faced the cameras and you lamented the fact that I'd spoken to Sky TV, not Channel 4. Um, you said, of course, we'd be delighted to have Channel 4, uh, have him appear on Channel 4 at, at any time. You then repeated, I think twice on Twitter last night to your followers at 11 o'clock, and, and later, you said, I'm going to quote, he decided to go to Sky instead. We'd been asking for a response for a number of days, but until day, today, refused to comment. Now, you know that's not true. Well, you knew what we that know is true. One what second. We know is true. You've so had your 12 minutes yeah. of fun. Let me okay. explain this very quickly. You knew that wasn't true at the time. You know it's not true now. At 5.30 yesterday, mm -hmm. when I heard for the first time that you were actually going to be showing this mm -hmm. program, and that I was the only MP to appear in it, before that, it was a whole suite of MPs, mm -hmm. and they all mysteriously disappeared. So mm -hmm. I contacted Channel 4 and said, I'd like to come and do a live interview to address these issues yeah. on air, yeah. head to head. Now, you clearly yeah. tried to create an impression that yes. I was unwilling to do well, so. You, you, I was you talked down. about this and people what, can read what, your site. No, but I want, but you, we did ask for you last me, Friday, last me. Friday, a week I'll ago. I'll explain that. I'll explain a week ago, that. we've had no excuse answer me. until now. Viewers, but you're here now. Let's, no, let's, no let's we're not going to brush this aside. This whole program is meant to be about integrity. Well, let the viewer decide. They can look at your blog site and look now. But we requested you to answer questions last Friday. You remained effectively silent until yesterday. I'm going to have a say on this issue. I won't talk about the specifics until I make this point across. Okay, at 5.30, I was told by this program you would not have me on yeah. to discuss this. No, life. this is not that true was, at it all. Is. I that have is a, a I have complete an email travesty here. of the truth. I have an email you here. requested to do well. an interview with our reporter, Kathy Newman, who was working on another That's story. That's not true. You'd, yes, I, you, well, I've got sorry, the emails I'm, here. Okay. All right, at 5.30, right. I asked well, to do a live I'm interview. I'm sorry, but I'm I, now going to put these points will, to you. If you will choose not, address, if you will choose not, not to answer them, that's your affair. I, I, I want to I ask you how it is that you were able to put out these posters which had your name, your face, mm -hmm. and then charge them to local election expenses. Right. How was that? When I was told I couldn't do a live interview, I was told instead to submit a written statement. So I sent this statement. I offered at 5.30 today to do a live interview addressing the issues raised in this item. I'm afraid to be but was told by Channel 4 that this was you know not perfectly possible. Well. We've been asking but you for a week, I, 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 for I, I, one, one whole second, week, and you the completely program. refused I didn't know to the engage with it was any only of yesterday, It was only yesterday that you mm -hmm. confirmed the program was going to happen. Until then, we had no idea This is just a delaying tactic. You just are not answering my questions. Questions. Extend the debate. I'll talk for as long I've as you want. You, I will I talk yeah. until you acknowledge that mm -hmm. when you stood and looked at the cameras last mm -hmm. night and implied that I had bottled out of talking about these issues live on Channel 4, until you apologised for that. I You uh, have bottled out of them. You, I, we have asked you I since last Friday. Do you deny that we've asked you since last Friday for a to statement. answer these yes. specific questions? Yeah, and you haven't touched yes. any of yes. them until yesterday. Absolutely And right. if you had, you might have spared yourself all this trouble. No. I am now going to ask you I, about I'll the trouble. That. You've asked and me you are in trouble, so let's just have a look at this. You have asked me a question. I have asked you, you have asked me a question and I'm going to answer it. Right. Okay? Your question is why did I not reply to you on Friday? No. My the, question the is, is no, about I'm going to deal posters. with this issue because I believe look, you at your no, report. No was viewer dishonest. is going to be interested in I why disagree. you did or did not turn up here at the studio. I think your viewers would be very interested to know that you misled them deliberately last night. This is a complete red herring designed to then, avoid answering the questions that the election commission wants to answer. Your delaying tactics because you don't want to have to apologise for lying to your viewers last night, which you did. I issued that statement. I sent that to Channel 4, it was acknowledged. No one wrote back saying, hang on a second, the statement's unfair, we'd love to have you on. I got a straightforward from the presenter of your program. From at Anson, 6 o'clock, Mr. Goldsmith, you know that too well, we asked you to come on live. At 6.02, you were unavailable I got a response until acknowledging my statement, which, by the way, you didn't include. What no. a surprise, even though I'm you'd sorry. asked for it. Even though you'd asked for uh, it. It's very now, rare that I, I feel completely relaxed about our position, and I can you, tell you well, this, you we asked for you last it. Friday, Last Friday, one week yes. ago, we asked you and to I did answer not questions. See you. And I didn't answer I am now you. going to ask you specifically. I'll tell you why I did not see Why you. did you charge? I will, why did do you, you want to hear an answer or not? I, I can tell you in 10 seconds. Look, the allegations are not about giving interviews. It, they are about, my allegation, they are about my overspending my on election My allegation is costs. that it's outrageous, outrageous that I wasn't given a lie right to the I think the viewer is going to be... And even more outrageous that you lied about well, it. Absolutely. We stand by our position completely, and you can let Ofcom divide... Why did you take this to Ofcom and complain I, I, to them? I, I certainly They're will. the regulator. Three things can happen I have asked this. you to do two things, yeah. and that is to come onto this program and answer two no, specific questions. I asked to come on this program. The first question... I asked to come on this program last night and again today. 
for a week. No, you haven't. The first you asked me for a written response, which I didn't give you precisely because I did not believe that a lengthy response from me would be honestly used by your editors. Well, in I'm, the same I'm way, sorry, Mr. In Gossman, the same way that I would cannot, not give a pre-recorded interview. We cannot carry interview. out an investigation into your expenses if you don't answer the questions. That, that, and you weren't fine. prepared to engage. That, Hence, yesterday's morass I in which engage. In the, I the now wish... Hang on. I now wish uh, to put on, to you two specific hold on. questions. Let me make one do you want to address the issues that we raised? I'm here to address the issues, but we can I see do you so, prevaricating. You just don't want to answer the questions. John, because I'm asking you for a simple acknowledgement that I was turned down from a live interview yesterday, which you did not acknowledge. You were not turned down. You were so turned down from a recorded interview with Kathy Newman, a or a live interview, interview with Kathy interview. Newman, who was not dealing with it the story, was working on another story. If you had agreed to be interviewed by me, you would have been interviewed by me. Who was your presenter? If, you had, program, if, you'd agreed, to if you'd agreed to be interviewed by me, you would have been. You are a charlatan on this. I'm well, absolutely amazed uh, Mr. by Mr. Goldsmith, Anthony, you are running us out of Anthony time. Barnett, You've got one thank minute you, left. Zach. We'll amend accordingly. Anthony Barnett, not Kathy Newman. I was turned down by the presenter who spent 12 minutes uh, going through my expenses on that program. You, are you going to address the are issues you going to raised by this program? To your viewers? Zach Goldsmith, and you're to your I've told you to take this to go to, to um, Ofcom. If you wish to do that, you're very welcome to do so. Let's abide by their decision. Absolutely so now right. I'm going to ask you specifically mm. how, whether you're going to deal with this specific, specific question. And the specific question is you had, uh, you expended £2,800 on 600 signs, right? 262 is what you say you spent right. when you told the right. Election well, Commission on yeah. your return. But the, the letter that I was sent on Friday, by the way, had all the figures. Even they, weren't, they were incorrectly taken from the Electoral Commission website. The figures you used here, I assume they're correct. What I can say is that the formula we used, and you know this, the formula that we used is exactly the same formula, exactly to the decimal point of uh, the formula used by MPs and candidates throughout the country. Every decision we took was approved by election experts in the Central Office Conservative Party, every single one of them. And each even here, look, a Lib Dem blogger, a very prominent one, Mike Smithson said, if Zach Goldsmith is guilty, they all are. Well, I can, only say, I can only say we are investigating 30 different MPs, and in terms of scale, yours you're far told, this is true. Like your, your suggestion is that I spent £2,800 more over a four-month period uh, uh, no, I was, we're dealing with a 23-day so. period, uh, building up, apologies, which is the legal yeah. period that this, we're dealing with. 23-day yeah. period. And I've seen the letters you, spent you sent. And I've seen the letters you sent to other well, MPs. Just and tell it's me the this. Just tell me this. So Why this is, is a poster nonsense. which has your face yeah. and your name on, then paid for yeah. by local councillors? Yeah who are fighting the council yeah. elections. Before having the posters designed, which were centrally designed, we checked. We didn't want to have to do two posters, local election and national elections, because people aren't going to have two posters in their garden. We wanted one poster for both campaigns. And we checked... But your poster doesn't even refer it, it, to the council elections. It says Vote Conservative. It was local election campaign. Vote Zach it's, Goldsmith. It has my name, my your picture, name. and Vote Conservative. And you're telling and that us that that is about I'm a local you, campaign. I'm telling you that that is absolutely standard this across the country. This was David Cameron's election Absol in which new politics were going to be in Play. Absolutely is this new politics? It, I'd love to see a new journalist. Okay, let's deal this with the quite, jackets. No, let's, let's deal with the jackets. Continue dealing with the no, posters, you've said if you this was all cleared by the election commission. You're perfectly happy it, about it. it. Cleared so by let's every, go on to the jackets. Every step of the way. Let's go on to the jackets. Know. Let's go on to the jackets. You, you, they cost two thousand one hundred sixty-eight pounds, mm. but you only no. charged. You only said you'd paid one hundred seventy. No. No, that's not what we said. We you, you spent 170. We spent 170. Right. 170. 170 what pounds the on the stickers that you can what see on the back. The we did what not, about the jackets? I'm telling you, we didn't have the jackets customised, as your presenter said. We stuck stickers on themselves. They had very conservative on the second, pockets. One second. The generic, not Zach Goldsmith campaigns. We stuck the stickers on the back to personalise them, to customise them. But you Those, made the jackets. One second, you had them made. One second. We didn't have them made. We bought them. They're off the shelf. Look at them. We, but they're, you they're, paid for them. One second. These jackets will be used in the local elections, the mm. GL elections, the bond Boris elections, mm -hmm. my next election, mm -hmm. if I can test another election, elections so, so after that. These are generic property of the association. But you paid uh, again, 2, again, again, six hang on a second. For them. Again, if you were to look at the details of 650 MPs in this country, or at least those who use jackets or T-shirts or whatever it is, you will find exactly the same thing. The fact that you have These zeroed in on this the campaign same time is, as very, the stickers. Is, is a reflection the bill, on your agenda, the bill, not mine. The receipt mine. that we have seen has both jackets and stickers on the same bill. This was a job mm -hmm. lot of jackets and stickers. We registered the cost you of the stickers, not the, not the stickers, not the stickers. Jacket. Those we jackets were bought mm -hmm. for the 23-day mm -hmm. period. We registered the cost of the stickers. Because you did that not was register the cost of the jackets. Because those are the things that were relevant for the election campaign. No, the jackets Just, were deployed in the if campaign. What, you, you, are, you are exploiting the fact that the laws are incredibly complicated to create a smoke and mirror story. If you were to come to my office and I bought you a cup of tea during the election campaign, 
Fine. If you said, actually, I live in Sheen, I would then have to register that cup of tea. I have another office, which my own, my own office, off Richmond Green. I had to close that office down during the election campaign. If I hadn't, I would have had to register the entire use, whether or not I'd used it. Uh, it, it the my, problem my election here is that you, you bought and one deployed second. jackets I may, I may and did your not point. charge the I'm campaign. I'm asking your point. The jackets are the same as uh, the trikes we used, the electric tricycles. We didn't register the cost of those trikes. Well, if people register the cost of their, their, their election vehicles, they would wipe out their entire election budget at well, a stroke. We you register know, the, the, the cost of, uh, of running those things and a proportion of the, uh, of the we'll, cost. We'll get this clarified by the election committee well, you, because, yeah, because right. the election commission is going to go through all these absolutely. figures. Absolutely, and three things will happen. So Either they'll decide not to look at it, in yeah. which case you want to watch it, or they will decide to look at it and they'll give me a green light, in which case you want to watch it, or they'll look at it and find that there was something wrong, in which case we'll need another... In which case we'll have to watch it. In which case we'll need another general... In which case we'll need a repeat, a repeat general election because the rules that, that I've hit I've the same as the rules as every other MP. Thank you very much no indeed for coming in.